Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 19 of Direwolf20 server play series. We have pods all in our house. Yes. Literally like three seconds before I started recording, the love was like, just ignore the pods all in our house. So I felt like calling it out, because pods all. Why is there pods all in the house? Has reasons. Has reasons. Oh, okay. Tila, that sounds better than my reasons. What here. did you do? I hope this thing is working properly. Did somebody move oh. my storage scanner? I think I did by accident. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops, indeed. You're it's... supposed to be out of town. You log in, you just cause all sorts of mayhem. I'm not supposed to be out of town. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I was told that you were out of town. You were told. True. Too soon. <laughs> Do you have a golden lasso I could borrow? To borrow a cow? Uh, not one of my cows. <laughs> well, I don't need an important cow. I just need a you cow. You can't have Bessie. You're not allowed to have I don't Bessie. need Bessie. I just need a cow to draw. Wait, a cow to... Wait, what? I'm going to draw a cow. I'm really Wait. concerned about what you just said. Don't be taking Bessie. I'm going Bessie. to draw a cow. How is that concerning? Wait, does this guy really... Does this guy get bigger? Wait, hold on. Do they grow over time? I don't know. Okay, no, never mind. Or find a pig. I just need a, like a wild animal that you don't care about. Creeper? I could draw a creeper. That'd be. <laughs> that might not be a good idea. Did you move mm. all <laughs> the? You did move all the peat engines. Cool. Yes, they'd be gone because I have nice. new energy for us. Do you? What are you using yes. to make energy? My power plant right over here. Right by the I house. wanted to see that. Yeah, like all that. Yeah. Out. Neat. Easy power plant. All right, can figure this out. Go ahead. In here? I don't know where you are. Fine. As long as... I don't know what's in this gold chest, but I'm not going to make it routable for now. That should be cool. That chest? No, not routable. So as long as the first one is the miscellaneous junk chest, which it is... Oh yeah, and for some reason, time. the signal trains are derping. We can't... Get them Start of traveling should go in there and then get rerouted. So I'm sure that's what happened. Yeah, it did. Nice. Let's just test that once more. I'm going to put the charged porter in there. That should get rerouted. And we're cool. Neat. Hey, T Love, I have a present for you. Probably. Uh, sort of. Present where? What? Right here. Oh. What is this? Oh, good. Storage one with tablet. What in the oh? Oh, yeah. Story's not highlighted. Well, that's fancy. I can see is the inventory. But how do I pull things out of it? Because I know. Oh, there we go. Okay, never mind. Just double click it, and it'll show up in that bottom slot. Ew, that's cute. Fancy. Nice. That is fancy. Very nice. I like nice. for. And now I have something to show you. Oh. We has pretty good amounts of energy now. Oh goodness. Come to the power plants. It didn't involve deep resonance either. I want to do deep resonance though. Eventually. It's fun. <laughs> Eventually we probably will, but I wanted to get a nice sustain sustainable amount of energy without doing it. I wanted you to. Go. I haven't flipped my thing back on. Granted, I'm not really using power, but I don't know what else to use power on. Oh, that's true. Where are you? I'm making myself a new storage scanner because I gave you mine. Oh, you just okay. But uh, I'm I'm coming. Here we go. I'm here. All, All right. right yes. Okay. Power plant. So this is the power plant. Dun, 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 yes. dun. <laughs> Doesn't look like much down here, but yeah, just this main energy is where most of the buffer is. Uh, let's go okay. up so I can show you exactly how everything works. Okay. So basically, we have like the VAT system that we had up top, but a little bit more refined in a way. Okay. Um, so we have the thirst, the three in the middle right here, that are turning everything into hooch. Then okay. the two on the sides are going hooch into rocket fuel. And to make sure that we have a good steady supply of sugar, I have this crafter right here turning reeds into sugar. Nice. On the left. So the reeds are from the sugarcane farm, the potatoes are from the main farm downstairs, the redstone yep. is from mining, and the gunpowder uh, is from our crypt? 
Yes, pretty much everything has become renewable, um, except for the redstone was the hardest one to start renewing, and I'll show you after I show the last part up here, which is where okay. all the energy is going. And right. then, of course, so combustion generators here. with water, coolant, and yeah. that's neat. You're wrenching, obviously, see all the, all the, all the conduits. Right. Nifty. Yes. The energy goes all the way down here and basically just, you know, keeps itself sustained into the uh, capacitor. Oh, and now we have redstone. Then, oh, you're using uh, the red orchids. Yes. And this is how we're getting our, our uh, redstone with the Great. mechanical users. And of course, the <laughs> lily pads of fertility are definitely helping. Yeah. And then we have the transceiver, which works, uh, you know, as intended. Goes from one thing to the next. Very fancy. That's our basic power plant. I was going to save the top for some more solar panels for extra utilities, but I uh, put them over here. Made some lunar ones. Oh, neat. <clears throat> so that's cool. currently our main power source. And yeah, I got rid of all the all the stuff up top here. So now this attic can be used for probably something else if we come, you know, anything new. I like it. Yep. Very nice, sir. Very nice. I approve. Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> and I finally made our frack system base for around the, the village with this uh, clay in the middle. And then you have the gravel as kind of like where you're going to place the tracks. So oh. if we so if we make like, let's say, a dimlet and we have a quarry on the other side over on the mining area, we right. can definitely do signals um, from the mining spot here and then take it all over to the main base. They all fancy looking. I like it. I'm trying to remember, is there a way to send entities into RF tools dimensions? Uh, I do not know. I think if you just put them in the teleporter, they go. So a teleporter can teleport like carts? Uh, I don't know about non living yeah. entities. I have no idea. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Mm. And uh, the YouTube audience needs to forgive me. I'm a little bit sick today, so voice not <gasps> ideal. <gasps> no. Sorry. Well, we can use the transceivers just to go f between the dimensions, okay. which is decent. <clears throat> we, can do, we can do that at least. Dimensional yeah, transceivers. Yeah, the, yeah, the dimensional transceivers because those are working fine. Nice. So we can use that to bring the items over here, and then obviously just right let route them, them around route them let route them around and i kind okay. of did it around the village like this so just in case if we needed stops or anything or junctions they're easy to make instead of it just being straight through the town right nifty i like it yep um so so we've so we're good on power now your bees are doing beely things how are you liking forestry bees uh i haven't gotten into them this whole week because troubles have been happening to me gotcha um so then what do we need at this point, would you say? Um, what do we need is... is uh, like, what's something we don't currently have a good amount of? Like, we, we're short on this item or, you know, this object? Okay. Or what would you say we need more of? Going a blank for a second here. Let's see. Hmm. Ooh. I was going to say an automated potion machine so we can get ready for our first wither fight. <laughs> oh, you want to do that, do you? <laughs> Yeah, why not? Because I'm terrified. User joined your channel. Yeah. Can do that? Rorax! Yeah. Whoa! Rorax. No, uh, overwatching. No, not until I'm on my video. And then we will overwatch. And we will overwatch. <laughs> what he always does. That's right. And I play but the music and Soren like puts his uh, head The funny head. thing is, he's sick and he still wants to play overwatch. I mean, we'll see. Hey, <laughs> vocal sick does not mean he can't move his hands. It, it's, no, no, wrong. How's that wrong? Sorry, demands. Please, give me <laughs> logic. Demands, he got a bed. Give me, <laughs> give me logic. Give me logic yes. of how that is Never wrong. Watch. <laughs> Fair enough. And I know Soren's playing with open computers, and I might want to take a peek at those a little bit today. Because that might be good cool. idea. Yeah, do that. What are you doing with them, Soren? What, like, what, you ready to show me something cool with open I'm computers? I'm drawing a creeper. You're drawing a creeper. It's going to go it's going to be perfect. Is it going to say it's I hope so. I don't know. Oh, actually. you I got four. Man. I didn't check out the tier three uh, screens, but they have definitely more resolution than the tier one and two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Especially when you multi-block I mean, them, can... which is something that I did not oh, do. Oh, goodness. 
Oh goodness. <laughs> I know you looked at the screen now. But yep. right now I'm just warning the dimensions of a creeper. And right. what I'm gonna do is go to edit creeper.lua and I have a list of voxels. Okay. And it's gonna print these voxels. Right. So either they're XYZ or they have XYZ color. And you can only do three colors with the top tier. But if we leave this one and go to edit, draw, why is that capitalized? Draw, there we go. So that's the print the voxel list code, done. Cool. So you're basically so trying, to trying to draw a creeper. To, yeah, I'm just drawing a creeper projector. now so you can get the voxel list constructed. Yeah, like the open computers has all kinds of fancy stuff. Uh -huh. I got to rotate that, so it's kind of... Yeah, that would be neat to see it rotating. I'm looking forward to that. Where, where did I put my open computers book? Maybe in one of the chests. Yep, I found it. So we need that. We need transistors. Might want to get a couple of these. Gonna get a stack of that. That should be groovy. So we should be good to do that now. Sorry, are you aware you have slimes in your base? Do what? You have a slime in your base. Yeah, it's a slime chunk. Slime. I keep killing them. Sorry. Ow. All right, the swing of the sword. <laughs> Ow. So our item inventories are acting funny. How so? Like, they're not refreshing very quickly. Like, when I look up redstone, I'm seeing a couple items, and then there's a couple items I'm not seeing. Are things yeah. routing? There's an update and then coming. Oh, it fixes that? Mm-hmm. So you, like, that's a known bug that's already fixed. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yep, yep. Oh, okay. Is that it's the also related to how I can't search at all. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's cool. I search and I get a different word than I typed. <laughs> I type iron, I get urn or er. Urn? <laughs> wow. Yeah, it just avoids <laughs> the third letter because I type too quickly. Urn. Or if that. Wow. Plus I got I. Get that urn. Yeah. Urn, bro. So did you just go straight to tier three for everything, Soren? Yeah, you don't need to upgrade through them. Okay, cool. So, printed circuit boards, iron bars, microchips. Fancy. Raw circuit board, clay, cactus green. Neat. I might want to get the components for a computer just to show you guys what it's like. And there will be limited amounts of programming on screen, I promise. Um, there will be text on screen, but there will not be much programming on screen. I will not be writing I code. Mean I just um, opened IntelliJ. <laughs> so, what's that? I opened IntelliJ. I'm making my stream watch it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I'm doing all the Lua and IntelliJ and then just copying and hit insert. It'll paste it in. Nice. You can copy and paste right out of there? Yeah. You can text, uh, copy any text. And as long as you hit insert and sub control V, it'll put it into the computer. Well, that's cool. I could do mine in Notepad++ then. Yeah. Yes, you could. That would be nice. Because what I used to do is just mine. like, I'd put it for computer craft, I would notepad plus plus it and then paste spin it, right? And then, so maybe I'll just show you guys what computers look like today. Does that sound like a plan? I think that sounds like a plan. So Dai, you should also make um, or gather the components for a CC computer and put them side by side. <laughs> yeah. I could probably arrange that. Um, Soren, have you found an internet disk or are they craftable? You make it. Uh, yeah, you make it with an arrow web. You need to make an interweb and craft it with a disk. Yeah. So in single player, that made an OPPM disk, not an internet disk. Oh, oh, okay, no, I know what you're talking about. Um, you use, maybe it's not available. I think it's a loot disk. That's not cool. What the? That's okay. Well, oh, you don't need um, you don't need the internet disk, disk to connect to the internet. I didn't single they, player. They update it <laughs> because it's broken right now. He, he repackaged how internet works, and it's a component instead of just internet module. Mm. And when you try to use internet, it's like, oh, 
That's not how this works anymore. Good try. Okay. You can use internet, you just can't use the OPVM stuff. Also, so we'll figure that out. But for now, we'll be right back. I'm gonna craft a few things and then we will play. All right, guys, we are back. So I yeah, being back. Um, so I'm supposed to get a internet card because of a change in the last patch that makes it that they're not craftable, but they're very hard to use without. Is that a fact? Yeah. Internet floppy. You mean internet floppy. Don't Are copy that floppy. Let's find open. Read that floppy. Did I miss it? Totally not seeing open computers. My bees, I need your help. Heal me. Tinkers, 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 tinkers. Oh, computer craft. And IO, flat colored blocks. There it is, open computers. Ah. Okay, that's cool. All right, so let's do this. And then we will do. Which one was internet card? Yes, that's what we need. So we need an internet card, but I don't think that they're available, like because of a change in the latest version. So, like, there's no crafting recipe for it, as you can see. There's nothing that says internet card here. There's the OPPM card, which we definitely want to play with, and I will show you guys. And those of you who are not a fan of writing code, but are fans of using computers to do cool things, will like OPPM, I believe. Sorry, we keep saying pad instead of floppy. Do what now? Who you me keep or saying Soren? Hearts of floppy. Will that work? Soren? You can make the card. Um. Okay. So I think I'm gonna place this outside for now, and then I will let my good buddy tell me what to do. Oh, you know what else I need? I forgot. We need to power huh? these things, don't we? So let me make a couple more things because I need power. My All right. So I've got a power converter. I've got everything I need. I think. So do we have RF power nearby, or should I do this inside the house? So there's probably handy RF power nearby. Let's get our ready. I suspect there's RF power nearby. Could be. Yeah. Just trying yeah, to decide sorry. where exactly I want to put this. I'm going to move this thing. That's there, and that's there. This is only a temporary place for it anyway. And what's the pods all about? <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm just curious, like, why? <laughs> sorry. I was, <laughs> it is I, was weird. Using, I was using my wand, and that's kind of where I stashed my pods all. Ah. Okay. Just how I stashed my pods all. Okay, cool. So the first thing we need to do is place down our computer case, which I'm going to put here. And then we can place screens on it. One, two, three, four. And they're multi blocks, so that's cool. Um, you can going? just do one. Oh. Cool. Oh, you know what else I need is a keyboard. I forgot about the keyboard. Yes. What we need? Move this bed. <laughs> We're going to take. Doesn't make sense. Four button groups. There you go, Tila. We're making progress. Progress where? What? Oh. On the hologram. <laughs> Arrow keys. Let's see how high is that? Need a little bit more stone. Cooked up. Here's three. Perfect. So keyboard, I just need that. So we need seven more stone. What you doing, T-Love? Ellen? Mr. Making things. Boop. So that gets me a keyboard. Hooray, Dirt Catcher 3000. So you need a keyboard attached to the screen somewhere. Um, so that's neat. And now the screen's ready. So the computer needs a bunch of stuff. Uh, so there's a bunch of slots inside the computer for different Who's components. Red? What's that? It's don't worry another about it. movie reference. Yeah. Uh, 
Gotcha. So if we look at open computers, you'll see there's a bunch of different things, and I don't fully understand what all of them are yet. So basically, like if you want to do stuff with data, if you want to do stuff with graphics, oh. if you want to do stuff with linked cards, network cards, internet card, like there's all kinds of cards, redstone cards for manipulating redstone, wireless network cards, so that's cool. So basically like different components go in here. Um, so at the very least, you need a CPU, and I made the tier three version of all these because that's cool. You need some memory. What are you doing over here? I'm making more <laughs> screens. Can't you like, Stop see it. that? Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> You don't want more screens? Fine. Not now. It makes it hard to code while you're... <laughs> oh, it does? What does it do? Oh, no, I mean while you're adding. Oh, it does. Uh, okay. So you need a hard disk drive, at least one. Uh, you need... So I got memory. I made a graphics card to control the computer monitor. I made an internet card to connect to the internet. And then we're also going to need a Lua-based... BIOS. So all these things go inside. And then if you try and turn it on, error, not enough energy. <laughs> you can also make an analyzer, which I might make right now. Be smart. The analyzer is the most helpful thing ever. Yes. Yeah. But when you have it all set up and it's like, ah, what do I do with this? <laughs> well, it's especially useful for when you're doing, what are they called, microcomputers? Right. Ah, that's true. That's true. So what I'm going to do is we're going to want this thing to have good power. Microcontroller. That's what it's called. Yeah. Breaking your house a little bit here, T-Love. Don't mind me. I'm minding. <laughs> right? <laughs> just, just start digging wherever he pleases. Yep. Welcome to playing with Dyer. Mm, yeah, pretty much. I need space. Dyer smash. Wait a sec. Wow. Okay. Uh, this is temporary. We can move it later. <laughs> yeah, Dude, I still need that creeper. So power, power converter. Anything when nighttime isn't showing up. Power converter converts with power to open computer's power, and then we should be able to turn on our computer now. Turn on. Unrecoverable error. No bootable media found. Haha. So we have to give it bootable media. Um, tier threes have a built-in disk drive, don't they? Yes. That's cool. So you just put the floppy there. Boop. Well, you know what? I made a floppy drive, so I'm going to use it. So take that. So I just made an open OS operating system. Oh, look, it's working. Ah, cool. Now, out of right, curiosity. Got you found the creeper? Yes. I found a creeper. Right. Is someone like, what happened? What the? <sighs> okay, we can't answer your question if the question's open ended. Ah, right. Very open ended. Because I'm flabbergasted. So that's the same. Also, okay, these sounds. I can't make you unflabbergasted here. without. <laughs> unflabbergasted. Right. <laughs> there's such a thing. <laughs> I, I wonder if there's no a way idea. to change the resolution. Like, I know things. Yes, you can. Up uh, this screen. Yes. You mean the in-world screen, right? Um, or the not in-world screen. The GUI? Oh. I don't know about the GUI, but you can change yeah. the resolution right. on the in-world screen. Cool. It's not door. How do we use this? I set, the, oh, I set the glass container for you downstairs. All right, keyboard. Where? Neat. Just so if on. I type install, Go on which way? and spell it correctly, it will install OpenOS off of the floppy drive. It's safe. We'll say yes. And it's installing it. Please don't Neat. miss. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I really do like how the in game screen looks like super cool. Oh, uh. And I also like the sound effects it makes. <laughs> it's so satisfying. So install complete, Especially reboot. Especially when now. you're using a floppy disk. Man, nostalgia. I know. So now it boots up without the floppy need. Cool. And it's ready to work. So we have stuff. Cool. Um, so I can now do, uh, so we're gonna want the internet card software. We wanna install that. So if I run install now, it'll install the internet. Cool. I just installed the internet. 
the internet. Yay. And then the other thing we want to make is the OPPM. All so OPPM, is, OPPM is cool, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So we'll install that dude. Select the device, device one, installing OPPM. Sweet. I broke. <laughs> what did you what did you do? I opened my computer and it broke. <laughs> nah. It broke it in. It broke my computer. Oh no, that's not gonna work. So Vorax, I'm gonna put the disks that I'm using, like the internet card and the OPPM card and all that stuff, in a chest next to my computer in my house. Yay, awesome, thank you. So that you can use it and other people who may be interested in using it can also use it. So we oh. can get on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> so that's basically how you set up and install a computer. And now we can do all kinds of cool stuff with it. Like there's a ton of things to check out. Um, so if I want to look up open one another open computers manual. So I think I use them all for crafting purposes. Let's go upstairs. I'm still having that weird issue where like the wrong block shows up in in the crafting UI. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've come across that one. <laughs> yeah, like if I shift click from JEI into the inventory panel, though um, Crazy Pan says he thinks he fixed it. Um, oh, it's an inventory panel thing. Yeah. Those dang crafting UIs. Yeah. <laughs> Get off my lawn! <laughs> so there's computers, there's servers, there's microcontrollers, there's robots and drones. Robots are the block version, right? And drones are entities. Correct. Correct. Right? And then there's other kinds of cool blocks, like hologram projector and keyboard and screen, disk drive RAID. Um, yeah, you, you have RAID computers. Computer. It's so cool. That does sound kind of neat in an extremely geeky kind of way. And switches, you can create a network switch. Yeah. Yeah. And a 3D printer. Holograms. Sounds pretty mm. cool, actually. Twitchy holograms, apparently. Wireless Twitchy access holograms. points. Ooh. I need to figure out the wireless stuff because I want to have like one computer hooked up to a lot of holograms. I want to demonstrate okay. holograms right now for people. So. Uh, I am very close to done with this creeper if you want to. Okay, I'll be over there in a minute. I want to demonstrate it with one of the built-in programs and how people who don't know how to program can do things. Yeah. So let me make a wanna, uh, geolizer, one. which is cool. And we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Yeah, you're welcome to use my... Uh... Oh, you're good. Cool. So I'm going to shut this down for a minute. And we're going to put the geolizer here so it's connected to the right, cable. Cool. I'm debating how I want this to work, but it'll probably just be under here. And like I said, this is probably all somewhat temporary and we will rearrange this stuff. I don't know if that necessarily needs to be like that, but it is now, so it is what it is. Hologram projector, neat. What's what's the size of the hologram? Is it three by three around the projector? One, yeah, three by three blocks. Okay. Uh, two blocks high, I think. So if I really want this to be representative of something cool, it should be like, I'm thinking here is where I should have my hologram projector. I have a shovel, right? Yeah, one to 48 is the dimensions in terms of the hologram sets. Cool. I think 17 to 32 is the block it's, the hologram is in. Do what now? You do crazy things so, like Belzebor does and you network them. Hmm? Then you do crazy things like Belgabor does and you network them so that you have like a grid of projectors. Yeah. That sounds cool. Yeah. One hologram block though, from 17 to 32 is the the bits just above the hologram block itself. There we go. Cool. Hologram projector tier two. 
So I've got a geolizer, which can analyze the terrain around the geolizer itself, and I've got a hologram block that can project stuff. But I'm not so good at Lua, let's say. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, I don't feel like writing a whole bunch of code, I wanna go find some code. So that OPPM project that I installed, which is this one, which you craft with the interweb and the floppy disk, okay? Um, let you do this, you ready? So OPPM list. It will go out to the internet and find a bunch of programs people have written, um, and they're all up on GitHub, so you can see what they are and how they work, and then you can install them. How cool is that? So it's like checking all these repositories, and it's like, here's all this cool stuff I found. So Geo2Hollow is one of the ones I want to show you. It uh, analyzes the geolizer and projects what it finds in a hologram projector. Cool? Neat. And you can see there's a bunch of programs out there, right? Like. Ooh, S Minesweeper 1. I want to try that one too. But um, OPPM install, I think, right? Yep, install Geo2Hollow. Goes out to the internet, finds the Geo2Hollow program that it listed there, and installs it for you. And that's all, right? So, like, you don't have to write programming, right? I said there would be no programming. We're not programming, right? No Lua code on the screen today. Geo2Hollow, go. And it should. Nice, it's working. It's mapping out the terrain around our base. How cool nice. is that? Come check it out. It's really neat. I gotta see this. Yeah. I'm interested now to see how it, like, because it, it should be, like, the immediate area around our base. So I think this is our lake right out front, right? This blue patch. Does it, like, do the house, too? It should, I think. I think oh, it's yeah, like, it's, oh, yeah, yeah, look. Oh, house. dude, it just did it. Look. Oh, wow. oh nice. that's so cool. That's really cool. He's having a little awesome, isn't he? So why are the reds Come see it, Soren. And, yeah, why are I'll the reds and it's greens? And, oh, hardness? Hardness yeah, of the block. Yeah, the hardness of the block is what it's telling you. So it's trying, it's you it's can... meant to show you, like, like what ores are around. Um, and apparently, apparently the geolizer is not super accurate about the hardness, except for yeah, like if you noise. scan. Yeah, it's Considering noise. that like all the top blocks right there are all bricks, so apparently two of those brick blocks are harder so, than the rest. Yeah, it's basing that off of the distance from the geolizer too. So the farther it is away, the less accurate. If you run this a couple times, you can actually get an average, yeah. and then do that. Pretty crazy though. It's neat though, isn't it? Yeah, it's getting, it's getting everything. That's, That's so really cool. cool. Yeah. So it's like totally, oh, cool though. totally hologramming your base right now. Yeah, I'm gonna make one that's similar to this but inverted, so it just shows the tunnels. Very it's so Soren cool to watch like it like draw. Effect. What's that? I don't. Soren doesn't like the glitchy effect. Oh, you don't? Not for what I'm gonna do when, for it. When it's kind of like full, you know, full fledged model like this, seeing it twitch is a little eh. Um, I, can understand I that. mean, it's it's it it would be cool if it was doing that while it was drawing. Um, maybe once it's finalized yeah. drawing, that would be nice if it didn't. You, you know what else would be nice? If that was a config option. I don't know if it is or not, uh, but I do know I want a tier three that doesn't do it at all. <laughs> Fair enough. See, now that it's kind of fully fledged, it's like so green now. It is. I, I mean, mean, it's that. it's it's yeah. because of the way it is, right? Like it's meant to yeah. draw. Like it's meant more so to be like, let's analyze oh, the yeah. terrain under you and find out yeah. like if there's ores nearby, right? Like also, you remember, here. you can personally create a more detailed hologram. This is just the effect of the geolizer. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, I mean, like, it's it's doing, like, you know, Great. this now is a I demo program, like, really. Now I just need to, now I can even make an actual build of where we can actually use this. <laughs> Gotta make a hologram room. What are you doing? Who's typing? Is it Soren? What are you Soren doing? Soren just made yeah, red things in. purple. Soren! Ah. Soren just made green <laughs> cyan. I, I like the blue. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what I would want. More light blue, but that's really cool. But you can change the color palette to three different colors yeah. with the tier that you did. Neat though, right? Really cool. Yeah. All right, we'll be right back. I'm totally playing Minesweeper right now. <laughs> what? You're playing what? Are you kidding me? No. I see. Oh, I just lost. Oh. Oh. What are you playing? <laughs> He's playing Minesweeper. Minesweeper. Oh. <laughs> yeah, come check it out. I'm looking. Oh wow! So these that are all lots of community the... programs around. I'm trying to figure out like how to flag the mines. I don't know if that's, <laughs> that's, so, that's so all funny. the bees everywhere. 
Very cool. I love that we can watch ah. you play. That's even better. Yeah, that's really cool. So this is three. Is that the Angry Birds theme song? Have I mentioned that I'm not good at Minesweeper? <laughs> <laughs> You've seen it yeah. so far. Yeah. That was the Angry Birds. Yeah, like I don't exactly remember the rules. Um, Does the number represent in a. The number represents what mines are nearby. So if I understand, but like. King would move. Left, right, up, and top, or diagonals as and well? And diagonally. And yeah. diagonally? Yes. All right. If you look at the corners of each block, you'll see some that say one. Right. They only connect diagonally. So. And this right. is real Minecraft streaming. <laughs> So that's connected to two, so these two have to exist. So that means that this is not one. Oh, I was so wrong. Yeah! <laughs> I'm no good at this game. <laughs> no, I didn't notice that. Is there a snake didn't make I assume there is. Is that there's a permanent powered rail. I'm very surprised Vessie didn't make something like that. What's that? A permanent powered rail for Quark. Ah, uh, uh, ask her. Yeah, I need to ask her. She'll just tell you to use a redstone block. Yeah. But, but that's silly. I know. Saying that she made How's your creeper silly. coming along, Soren? Is it spinning yet? No. Uh, I can spin it easily enough. Right. But I mean, it does look like a creeper. I'll give you that. Yeah, we're going to make a phase in a minute, but here. Component dot hologram dot set rotation speed. We're going to say number one through ten, Dyer. Go. Five. Five. All right. So we're going to say that. We're going to do it along the Y axis. Enter. Neat. That's actually really fancy. Let's, uh, let's try 20 real quick, see how fast that goes. There we go. No. So that's why the, the flickerness I didn't like, because I can't tell if it's <laughs> resetting it or what, but it looks a little weird. I get what you're um, saying. Yeah, no. You should check in the configs and see if there's like a turn off flicker option, because there might be. I have to do that in the actual file, because they don't have the configure options in the mod here. Oh, okay. So that's cool. So you're gonna get the face on there? Is that what you're looking to do? Yeah. So how did you draw this? Like what? So let's exit this. I made right. a warning. Programming incoming. <laughs> 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 I made a draw voxel uh, right. program, mm -hmm. and all that does is I give it a file. It removes Lua from it, and draws over a voxel list that is provided by any file I make. So edit creeper, for instance. And we have a list of voxels. Neat. A voxel is a class I can provide to you, but all it is is X, Y, Z, and a color. Fancy. And I've gone through and say, here's a cuboid. Here's another cuboid. Right. All right. And we'll be back in a minute, guys. All right, guys. So I'm going to call that wrapping up point for the episode. Please leave me feedback and don't give me the, you know, oh, programming, terrible. Like, I really didn't do much programming. <laughs> and the little bit of code that you saw for literally 10 seconds of the video happened at the 37-minute mark. So we went the full 30 minutes without programming. So hopefully you guys liked it. I think it's a cool mod. I think there's neat stuff in there. Um, so mm, I don't know how much more we're going to do with open computers. I do want to check out, like, what drones are capable of and robots because, like, Yes. You know, having those things. But I've I've read that like the entity one is not quite as powerful as the the block version of the one, but we'll see. It's not, but it can do things entities can do that blocks cannot. Okay. Like can it mine? <laughs> I think so. Yes. Okay. So that would be cool. But anyway, Darwell Twenty signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh like I said, what little um open computer stuff we'll do this season will avoid much programming on screen. And as usual, if I do write something really cool that I'm proud of. I will go ahead and uh, make sure that there's like a, you know, a separate video for that. All right, guys, take it easy.